What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and as you can see here we did buy the Manchester United pack. If you missed my live stream last week, apologies. I have been a little bit under the weather lads. I've been a bit sick so we haven't been able to put out this video until today. Now I will be having a full video uh, later on tonight which is going to have gameplay. It's going to have breakdowns of the actual movement of the players, the AI, all how these guys handle. But we did buy it for 1500 coins and we are going to get in and do a training guide level on these, right? So firstly, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm rocking at the moment, who I trained up, who I tested. And then of course we will have later on tonight, we will have the kind of gameplay in-depth analysis of it. So this is just the training guide as of right now, right? But this is the squad that I'm rocking at the moment, as you can see there. That is the team that we had, and you can see it's the full Manchester United squad. And listen, look, 1,500 coins, I'm still a little bit torn on that direction. We will get into that in the video later on as well. Uh, I just want to focus on training up these players, because I've played probably... I played about maybe six games uh, on live stream with this squad, this exact squad, right? We've nobody really on the bench to spring on, um, apart from a couple of other players that we were testing out, such as the Barcelona ones. And currently we are in Division 3, um, and we've been kind of getting good wins with it. Now, what I've had to do is because we have no left back, that's one thing if you are buying this pack, that is one word of warning that you do need to kind of put Lissandro in there because, you know, um, well, you can put Lindelof in there as well, but we haven't even trained up Lindelof or Anne barely any of the players have been trained up right but you are kind of missing I would say a bit of pace in this team you are missing a left back in this team and you're also kind of having three very similar players in Ericsson Mount and Fernandez right but Highland is a highlight uh Wamba Saka is one of the best right backs in the game defensively he's an absolute machine Casemiro is a brilliant player to base uh your squad around as well if you are a newcomer if you do decide to buy a pack I do recommend the Arsenal pack more, but we'll get into that when we do get the Arsenal pack as well. But for now, we are going to focus on the training guides. So we're going to go over to eFootballDB.com right here. Right, so these would probably be the ultimate versions of each player, right? So depending on, you know, their role that they're going to be playing in your squad, I would recommend a couple of different alterations that we'll talk about in this. But I'll keep it short and sweet. There's 11 players to go through, so I don't want to spend too much time on players that are very easy to train up or that are probably going to need to be upgraded, right? So the first player we're going to look at is Casemiro. He's got 27 levels, and we're going to boost up his defense with 11 into defending and 5 into aerial strength. You're going to be getting the manager boost of 2, plus you're going to be getting the speed boost with Ten Hag. So his speed is going to be 75 when it's at 72 there, and his acceleration is going to be around a 74 mark, right? I haven't focused too much on passing with Casemiro, simply because I know that the role that he's going to be playing is going to be different than the likes of a creative playmaker. He's literally just going to be a third center back or a sweeping center back that's going to be going back deep line on him and going to be defending as deep as possible when we don't have the ball or we're out of possession right that's all he's going to be doing so you're going to have the defensive stats really nice you're going to have the physical contact that's going to be getting the boost stamina physical contact defensive awareness and all tackling aggression and defensive engagement are all going to be in the 90 zone which is incredible for a player that is one of the best anchormen in the game right we've also got mason mount i've said it before right mason mount is kind of a kind of neither here nor there i have played with him he's actually okay he plays above his stats a little bit but a very average player we've just trained him up with three six eight nine and seven as you see down this left hand here if you literally do not shoot with him you can just pop one more into dexterity if you want to go that route and have his balance as high as possible i mean he is look he's a whole player he's a classic whole player he's got good player skills he's got no look pass low lofted he doesn't have one touch but he does have double touch so he's kind of a run and gun attack a midfielder um which sometimes i like but i just have better players than him so that is how i would train him similarly with L lisandro martinez he's actually a very tigerish center back i mean don't let his height dissuade you from using him because once you boost up his jump uh, to about 88 which we've done here he actually does have aerial superiority which is quite nice and if you stick heading on him um, or acrobatic clearance you will have a very dominant player that really height doesn't come into it if you've got a, a strong tall center back beside him you know he's a versatile center back because he's got the acceleration he's got the speed he's got the physical contact fairly decent but then he's also got really high defensive stats and you can play the ball out from the back with him so that's the training guide we've gone with with him there we also have marcus rashford who i've been a little bit disappointed with um 
because I, I don't think, again, I don't think his best position is out left wing. I know he cuts in a lot. Um, but once you have a base of him here, you have to decide whether you want to have his finishing at around 87 or 86 or whatever you wanted to have um, if you want to go that route. But I would probably recommend to just have him for a little bit of pure speed and get that balance up as much as you can, um, especially as a left winger if you're cutting in. Because what ha seems to happen a lot of the time with Rashford is when you play him through the middle, because he's down as a prolific winger, he does kind of, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be as good. This version of him doesn't seem to be as good from testing him out, but that's the build we've gone with. We also have Bruno. So Bruno is going to follow the same mold of Mason Mount. He's not really run and gun. He's more kind of pass, but you are going to be training him up similar there. So dribbling, passing, and dexterity. You don't really need to shoot too much with Bruno or your attacking midfielders because he's got the player skills here that will be able to get you a lot of goals, especially if you stun and shot because of the kicking power. Um, He's okay. He's okay. There's been a lot of different versions of Bruno. I wouldn't be buying the pack for Bruno and I wouldn't be buying the pack for Mason Mount. Varane is a different kind of uh, centre back as well. He's very similar to Van Dyke. I wouldn't say he's as good, but the thing I like about Varane, lads, is he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. I don't know if he's just coded that way, that he's just supposed to be an absolute monster, but I haven't been let down by him in the six or seven games that I've played. And we'll see from the clips later on in the video when I actually do my full review of it um, that, you know, we'll show you a couple of key instances where he kind of saves us and he gets in brilliant position with the AI, right? We also have Onana. You'll see in the clips later on as well that some of the incredible saves that Onana makes. I'm still out on him in real life as a United fan. Um, and I'm still out in his standard card and any other card that they released in this. I had him on my Road to Glory account where we had him and he just made a lot of mistakes. We did upgrade him with Sommer and never looked back. But this card is brilliant, right? He's a brilliant, brilliant card. His reflexes are amazing. And again, this is where it comes into it where you have to play the game a lot to actually realize that the stats sometimes don't really tell the full picture. And that's definitely the case with Onana. So that's the training guide. And as ever, as you can pause these videos here at any point and get the build on the bottom left. So Highland is probably one of the most exciting players in this pack because, you know, I definitely play him like Haaland. He's been banging a lot of goals in for me. His movement is brilliant. His speed and acceleration is really good. His balance is really good for a tall guy. Now you can train this guy in a multitude of different ways. We've gone for the 88 offensive awareness build with the 90 speed, with the manager boost and the team play style boost. And of course, the acceleration is going to be high as well as the physical contact. But if you are struggling with, you know, maybe you're making great runs, but you are struggling uh, to finish, you can obviously upgrade that a little bit as well if you want to um, and get that, you know, finishing over the 85 mark um up to 87 with the boots but i would definitely go with the first build of him um i think that's probably the best route to go with him is to get high acceleration on him because he actually doesn't feel clunky for a big lad and he's able to finish from everywhere he's got some really good player skills as well he's missing a few key ones but yeah he's definitely an exciting player um now we're on to ericsson i won't spend too long on ericsson you can see there it's pretty much the same as mountain fernandez you've got the speed acceleration below 80 but you've got the rest of the the, st the stats here are really, really high. Um, so yeah, he's pretty much what he says and does on the tin. wan -Bissaka, he's definitely impressed me a lot. He's definitely, I would say, the best standard card right back in the game for a defensive player, right? And this card is insane. 33 levels, 99 tackling, 94 aggression, 97 engagement, 84 defensive awareness, and this is without the manager boost. And of course, we're going to have speed at 90, acceleration at 87, but he's also got physical contact, balance, and stamina. And he can actually pass the ball a little bit as well. You'd be surprised with man marking interception and blocker. He is the ultimate defensive right back. And then last but not least, we have Lindelof. So yeah, we've saved the best to last. No, I kid. Uh, just your average center back, lads. I mean, he is going to be a build-up player here. He's not bad, right? He's not bad. Positioning-wise, I've been very impressed with him. Um, He does the job for you. But would he get in ahead of, say, the likes of Marquinhos or somebody like that? Even standard card, it remains to be seen. Because you don't have the massive height um, and you don't have the massive aerial ability, especially the fact that he does have aerial superiority, but he doesn't have heading. Um, so you do need to kind of pick what role you want to play with him. But as I said, I was playing a um, three center back formation here, and I was finding it very, very, very nice to play with. Um, the biggest problem with this squad, Les, as we'll get into later, is these three players, is that we don't have any width on the right, and these players are all very, very similar. So that's just a quick training guide, lads. I will be back later with another full review, the same as we did the Barcelona review. Until then, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.